The Big Dumb Cup is about to get a big, beautiful watercolor makeover. So I'm going to admit, I am a big lover of the Big Dumb Cup, aka the Stanley, okay? Here's the thing. I want to make her more reflective of me. And I'm seeing folks painting the living daylights out of these things and, you know, finishing them. But they look like acrylic and I'm not an acrylic gal. So I'm like, how can I do this? How can I do this? It could be a disaster, but it's worth it. It's worth it if I can watercolorize the big dumb cup. So come along for this journey. It's guaranteed to be a hoot. It's guaranteed to be fun. And uh, yeah, let's do this. I don't really have anything in mind yet. Maybe it'll come to me as I go. I think I'm gonna start on the back side. So I think what we're actually gonna do is try one flower and then kind of go from there. Okay, that didn't take too long, about 15 minutes and it feels really dry. Like it probably was dry before the 15 minutes were up. Okay, y'all, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Not a clue. I have my Art for Joy's Sake palette. I'm also going to have my three, only three acrylic wash colors, but I happen to really love them. So I use Luminous Orange, Opera, and they're whole binds, and Light Apricot. So I definitely want that out. Probably gonna use this Gold High Flow Acrylic. I'm thinking like Poppy Life still. I'll do this a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and clean just one of these out. And I kind of see like a side view forming. So let me kind of show you like where my head's at with that. Hey, all right, now quickly, because I don't know how long this is gonna stay wet here. Every time I use watercolor ground, it's like a new adventure. So I'm, I, I, you know, it dries quicker on some surfaces. So I typically work rather quickly. Put more water on the brush and just get in here. Just more of a generic leaf than like an actual, like anatomically correct poppy leaf. All right, we're gonna let this dry again because you might be wondering, well, can't you just go in and start working with the the um, watercolor ground in other areas now? But I wanna see what happens now that I've applied the ground, let it dry and applied my first layers of watercolor. Okay, I'm gonna head back in here see if I can add some stronger details and see if it still holds up. Making sure I have kind of that perfect amount of paint and water on the brush and kind of accomplishing this three quarter view petal here that's kind of curling down and out a little bit. And then I'm using my triple zero and I'm gonna continue to use it. I added a little water to that brush and I wanna blend out that kind of shadow moment that I added there to see if I, again, can kind of attack this in a more traditional watercolor way. And again, I'm just staying within the confines of the watercolor ground. All right, friends, I am going to let this really set. I want it to actually set for a couple of hours. And then we're gonna come back and add a little bit more detail and also get the rest of this composition going on. Cause remember I started on the back. I'm gonna have like a really killer back of Stanley here. And we gotta see what we can do with the front. Okay, it's a day later. And I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked. The watercolor texture game is strong. Okay, but now I feel really nervous. Like I'm gonna screw this up. If you think this is not gonna go as well as I think it's gonna go. I want you to let me know in comments because yeah, maybe you could save someone else from what I'm about to get myself into. But if you're having fun, this is entertaining and you wanna help out my channel cause the algorithm needs to find weird stuff like this. Go ahead and give this video a boop. In watercolor land, that's a like. I love it, I love it, I do. Let's do this, okay. So at this point, I definitely was starting to like question myself. I did a bunch of research and nobody was sanding. 
Yeah, and um, my experience has always been like, you know, to kind of buff off the sheen, kind of give things something to grip to. But I was like, okay, you know, people are painting these things left and right and they're not sanding. Now I'm really nervous. Seriously, Mira didn't sand. Melanie didn't sand. The social easel comes up in every search about painted Stanleys. Didn't sand. We'll see how this goes. Okay, here's the part I call connecting the dots. So I am bringing in my collection of acrylic gouache. So I'm gonna try to use acrylic gouache lightly because it doesn't require a ground painted on the Stanley first. So oh, let's see how this goes. Now I'm up in my other studio working on another project, but if you didn't notice some weird stuff was happening with that Stanley. I scraped off the parts that were resisting the most, that were flaking. I think I applied the ground too thickly and then kind of like covered over the areas in places where I thought it might flake again with some of that acrylic gouache. We're just gonna have to see how this goes. It's time to finish this bad boy and I'm about to spray some polyurethane. I'm outside. We didn't do spring cleanup yet because it's not spring. Anywho, I've got my spray. I researched quite a bit and this seemed to be the one that kept popping up. So we're gonna give this a go. And it says one coat self-leveling, blah, blah, blah. It's clear matte because I wanted a matte finish. I might do more than one coat. I'm just gonna see how the first one goes. Okay, let's do this. Start. Just sweep, sweeping, sweeping. See, I could never, don't ask me to sell these because it's not happening because it's just too much pressure. It's just not my normal wheelhouse. We're gonna let that sit and we'll be back. So we have a sad update, friends. The test, the experiment, I don't know. You tell me, is a failure. Look at this. It scrapes right off. Now clearly I have done something wrong and I'm trying not to be sad about it and all the things, but clearly she's not coming to Europe with me. I'm gonna use her, I certainly am. And she's gonna slowly scrape away and fade away. And you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy her for the time that I have her. That's the thing about experiments. They sometimes don't work out. But am I gonna let this discourage me? Absolutely not. I enjoyed creating the artwork. I have this piece that I can use for a who knows how long. And it's gonna inform the next decisions I make. So off you go, happy painting. Just not like I did on the Stanley. Okay. Mwah. <laughs>